So this is my first impression on this plugin that I recently got. It's called the Eva Beat Melody Sauce. It generates MIDI patterns uh, based on like the light notes, dark notes of your keyboard. You can use both. They can be super simple, complex, and both. And then you just like pick, you know, the scale. This loop that I just made with logic loops, the key is E. So we want to use that. And this is like the basics, right? Bum, 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 bum. Make a disco house loop. All right, so now we have here the the CS80 from Arturia. And let's go and pick out some sounds for melodies, some other keys maybe. Let's see. And then let's pick the key E minor. And then we're gonna go with a slow just for to start. Uh, like melody with a simple light keys and let's see how that sounds so at first when I first started using this um, I try to use it for like bass lines but it, like honestly like it's such a headache uh, trying to get a pattern that was worth using. So then I started like building tracks and then I figured out that, you know, melody sauce is just for melodies, right? For like uh, melodies after you have like kind of like set up your own uh, sounds and your own like groove to the track, adding this to it is not that bad. So let's, let's change it up. Let's add a... We're gonna use both dark and light. If you're hearing that, that's my dog drinking out of his bowl, bull logs. Yeah, so see, I don't like this at all. Let's try another one. <laughs> this is horrible. Maybe the sound that I picked is not the best. Let's go change it up. No. So then you can add, you can harmonize it, you know, at the, the highs, mids, lows, and then you can shift keys to see how, how it all sounds. So it's a good idea, and I think that when you're running out of ideas on what to add to melodies uh, for your tracks, I think this is quite a good, efficient plugin. Uh, it's different than from Captain Chords. Uh, you know, Captain Chords, you start building the chord progressions, and then you add, you know, like the deep, which is like the bass line, and then like the melody patterns. But I think that with this one, you know, it's a little bit more simple, and, and you know, you can... You can get some really interesting sounds going on. Still, you know, it's, it's a trial and error uh, to get something that um, sounds decent. Uh, I I saw this uh, video like explaining this plugin, and it was like, oh, is this? Consider cheating. I don't know if it's cheating. Uh, I mean, it does. You still have to do a lot of work to try to like, figure out a pattern that actually works. So, my impression of this is that it's lacking a little bit of, uh, of maybe a, a, like a couple of parameters that they could add. Maybe like the humanization. Uh, I know that it does have like the um, swing. You know, you can add swing, but. I, I don't know, I think it's still missing, you know, like uh, a couple of, of elements. Uh, the algorithm that they're using, you know, is just like generating notes and that's cool. But, you know, 
it's uh, I don't know I think that after you you get to the point where like you're able to write your own um, music you know and like you know you study a little bit of uh, music theory and you start writing your your own like patterns and your own melodies and all this other stuff I think this is a Okay, if you're running out of ideas, I think it's great. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I might use it from time to time if I'm if I'm if I have like writer's block on like the next part of a track that I'm writing, you know. But other than that, um, it's a cool idea. Let me try something else because I know this works for melody, but I also would want to see what happens when we use the ultra bit beat for the synth sounds, right? And see if this triggers them. Oh, nice. I mean, it's kind of weird, but let's see. <laughs> if you wanted to get some like random sounds happening. Um, let's see, I don't know, let's do this. So the other interesting thing about this plugin, uh, let me see, let's change this up. Uh, let me see, I don't know, we're going with this. So yeah, Indie Disco, and let's see how this sounds. And let's clear all the patterns. Fast, and then... Um, zero swing, maybe like triplet, and see what happens. <laughs> no, that's horrible. And that's not bad. So after you're done figuring out a pattern that you like, you grab a hold of this, and you can bring the pattern to your project and let's go in you can turn it off if you want to. I think it does it automatically so now we have four bars let's go check it out so the, the interesting thing right is that we might see some sounds that we like how they're all sounding so like for me um, let's see I don't like that so I'm gonna turn them off yeah, so these ones are completely wasted because there's no sounds there. So I'm going to bring them down so it sounds there. Yeah, no, I like this. And the kick is pointless. Technically, what I would use, but I don't think it's that crazy as this, to add some variation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting. Let's see. Let's go try another one. See what we can do. Let's go slow. Let's change. Well, that's going to kind of like leave it as it is. Uh, let's, no, let's transpose it down and then boom. Oh yeah, and we need to like delete this one because if not, this one carries. So, let's go back here. Oh yeah. But we have to unmute it. Starts working, right? Kind of like one part of the pattern. So let's bring it in. Yeah. 
here. Another resource. All right. I don't like the kabasa. <laughs> this is not bad. I mean, it's super cheesy, but. So it is kind of cheesy. Um, let's see. I mean, it's a great idea. Again, you know, I I think I think that um, you know you can use it with different elements too. Um, Let's see the studio horns, how this sounds. It'd be interesting. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Yeah, that sucks. I think that I think that I can actually use this. And let's delete this. Okay. So let's get creative. No. See, it turns it off, it mutes it. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's pick all the keys, bring them down a little bit. Uh, and this here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can keep this too. So, I, mean, I guess you can find some use for this if you're you have writer's block, I guess.